Hey guys, I am back with another tutorial. Today we are going to be doing a everyday wearable smoky eye with a classic Fred lip. I am starting off with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NW15 and I am using an Artiste brush to blend all of that out. I just got this for Christmas so I figured I would try it out and um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it so far. I mean, I love my Beauty Blender so much, so I'm so always so used to using that. And um, when I was using that today, um, I noticed that I did not really blend out as well in some spots compared to others. So you're going to notice that on my forehead it's going to look a little patchy throughout the tutorial. So don't mind that. But we are going to go in with our Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime our eyes. And um, I just like to put that all over the eyelid right before I put down my eyeshadows just to keep the eyeshadows from fading throughout the day and help them to last a little longer. For concealer, I'm going in with the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade 15. I'm just putting that all over my under eye area, um, down my nose on my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead, especially to cover up that very obnoxious patchy spot over on that left hand side, but that's okay. We're going to blend that out, hopefully make it look a little bit more smoothened out. And um, so I just like to get right up all the way near my eyelid to blend that out, and even a little bit on the eyelids too just to prime them a little more. I'm going in with my spoolie, just brushing out my brows a little bit before I start on them. And um, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. I have been using this since I very first started my brows. I have not changed it to anything else. I am obsessed with this product. I can't go just about any day without using it. So um, I decided to kind of slow it down for you a little bit here. I know I already have a brow tutorial up, but um, and I, my routine hasn't really changed too much. But basically, I'm just um, going and outlining my brow on the underside and then also doing it on the top. Sorry, I kind of cut out this part a little bit. So um, that's why you don't really get to see the top part. But um, I'm just brushing it out after I outline it and fill it in a little bit. And then I like to go in with the Brow Wiz, which is kind of like a very narrow um, stick, like an eyebrow stick. So I like to kind of go over the ends of my brow a little bit with it and also feather in the front because my brows stop so abruptly and I hate that so much. It like bothers the crap out of me. So I always feather them in in the front. Um, sometimes I do it a little more than other days when I feel like I want a, a thicker brow. And I feel like I definitely did that a little more today. But um, just to keep them from looking really thick, I like to go back in with a concealer. I'm using the LA Pro Concealer today to um, just to kind of carve them out a little more so they don't look as crazy because they are definitely going to look crazy, especially with no eye makeup on, with no bronzer on. They're going to stick out more than everything else. So this kind of just helps to tame them a little bit and make them look a little more normal. And then the last thing that I like to do for my brows is use the clear brow gel just to set them. And then the next thing that we are going to do, what's the next thing we're going to do here? What are we doing? Okay, we're just staring at our brows. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. Oh, never mind. I'm changing it up. Um, so we're going to use the Tartelette and Bloom palette because I like to take kind of like a, um, just like a matte white color to, um, set the tackiness of that soft ochre paint pot. That soft ochre paint pot is extremely thick and tacky so um, as you can see it kind of like builds up on your eye if you just let it sit a little bit. So I like to set again with um, that matte white shadow. And now I'm just going in with the shade Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill palette as my transition color. 
You're just putting that all up and down my crease, all in the crease area. It's okay if it gets on your lid because we're going to put another color there later. Just keep building it up a little bit. Or a lot. And I'm just going in with an angled brush and going in with the shade in light and using that as my brow bone color. And as you can see, it kind of like makes the, um, the crease color look a little more harsh and not as blended out as it did before. So I'm going to go back in with that fluffy blending brush and um, just blend it out again a little bit more so that the colors look more fused together and not as... Um, Flashing, I guess if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to be looking even more crazier than I already do. I'm just using this to um, bake underneath my eyes and kind of set the concealers. I'm just placing this anywhere that I put my concealer before just so that um, it sets those areas and I'm going to leave this on for the entire time that I'm applying my eyeshadow so that by the time that I sweep it away at the end it's um, nice and set and it's not creasing. So I'm going in with the shade Buns, Buns, from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm putting that also in my crease on top of that silk cream shade just to darken up the look a little bit more. I always like to go from lighter shades to darker shades just because if you start with a darker shade, it's a little harder to blend out um, compared to laying down the lighter shades first. Um, then I'm going in with the shade Soda Pop. I love this color. It is so pretty. It's like a very, very deep, dark purple. And I'm just placing that um, right in the socket of my crease um, with a pencil brush. And um, this brush doesn't really blend out as well, but I'm not using it to blend. I'm just kind of placing it there in my socket. Um, a lot of people ask me how I apply eyeshadow, so this is pretty much just how I apply any color eyeshadow but I mean I'm just using that first and then I'm going back in with a Sigma e something I don't remember what one it is but I'm just going back in with that same color but on a fluffier blending brush and just kind of blending out the color now because trying to blend it out with just a pencil brush is not going to work so like I said I just placed that color down with the pencil brush first and now I'm going back with the blending brush and blending it out and um, so after I do that, I'm going to go back in with that even fluffier blending brush that I used that buns color with and I'm um, taking that buns color again and blending out that darker shadow. So as you can see, the colors are kind of fusing more together and they're kind of, you know, the look is just kind of all coming together now as I kind of just build up all of the colors. And this part, I'm taking that silk cream shadow. I'm sorry, I'm like out of the view, but um. I'm just taking that silk cream color and putting that back on the top of those other darker colors. So as you can see, it kind of, you know, looks all nice and blended together. And now I'm just taking a um, flat shader brush, sorry. Um, and now I'm just taking it and putting it on my lid. And just kind of like packing on the color. I'm just putting it not really like in a particular spot on my lid, just kind of placing it all over the place. And as you can kind of see, the darker shades kind of fade a little bit because of that lighter color. So what we're going to do is go back later on in the tutorial and build up on that dark color again. Because like I said, this is a smoky eye, so we do want it to seem smoked out to some extent. So, oh, eye twitch there. Why does it seem like my eye gets bloodshot, like only at the times where like I only want to film? I don't understand. But, okay, now I'm just taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and putting that in the inner corner. I always do this for every look because I really like for my inner corners to be nice and bright. And I'm taking that in light shade again and just placing that right on top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Okay, so now I'm just taking a um, big fluffy brush. Uh, um, this one is from BH Cosmetics, nothing, you know, too special, just wiping away my translucent powder. And now I'm going in with my most favorite liquid eyeliner ever. This is the one by um, Maybelline. It's the Lash Stiletto. 
mascara or not mascara eyeliner it's like one o'clock in the morning I'm sorry um so I'm just putting that right along my lash line I kind of like to start in the middle a little bit and then just drag it all the way out as far as I want and then kind of go back into the inner part because um I don't really always like to start in the inner part because for some reason it always tends to get onto my bottom lash line when I start there as you can see a little bit now I'm just like wiping it away I don't know if it's that eyeliner or if maybe I should just switch to like a gel or something but I really like this one because I have kind of like a lot of control when I hold it because you can kind of um, bring your hand all the way up close to the front of the eyeliner so you have a little bit more control but anyway um now I'm just going back in with that soda pop color since that lighter color kind of faded out the darker colors and I'm um, just smoking it out a little bit more um, with that pencil brush and then I'm going back in with the lighter color and placing that on again so I'm kind of just like building up the colors more again I just kind of like to do that after I put on my eyeliner for some reason it kind of I don't know acts as I really don't even know what I'm trying to say but anyway I am just taking a um, flat liner brush if that's what it's called and taking that dark matte black color in the palette and I think it's called abyss and I'm putting that right on um, like the inner corner of where my eyeliner is and just kind of like making that a little bit more smoky too that's also something that I kind of like to add to my look every day you don't have to do that but um, then I'm just taking another type of pencil brush and taking that buns color and placing that underneath my lower lash line um, just so I don't look like I don't know I make it more right anymore kind of like opens up my eyes a little bit more when I do that so um you know it's all in your preference you don't have to do all those extra steps if you don't want but I just personally think that it opens up the eyes a little more so now I'm just taking my um hula bronzer by benefit and just taking another morphe brush I believe it's the 530 I think and um just using that to contour a little bit um I don't really ever like to cream contour. I only do that if it's like a special occasion or a holiday or I'm really like getting dressed up. But um, normally on just like an everyday basis, I just kind of powder contour or just bronze. Um, I also like to take it up on my forehead. I had to switch the brush because it was kind of looking a little patchy with that Morphe brush. So I switched to my Bare Minerals bronzing brush to bronze my forehead. And this kind of makes it look like, you know, your forehead's not as big. And just makes it look like you have a smaller forehead when you do that. Um, and then I also like to take it down on my jawline. And um, here, just contouring my nose. I've been doing this like a lot, but um, I see most people on YouTube when they contour their nose, they usually use a cream, um, a cream shadow first or like a cream base, and then do the powder over top. But because I'm lazy and I hate creams, I don't know. I just went in with a powder instead and just kind of like blended it out with my fingers. It's really hard to blend out a nose contour I feel like, but I still like to do it because it makes my nose look slimmer. Um, and now I'm just going in with the Tarte Party blush. I got this as um, like my Sephora birthday gift last year and um, it's just kind of like one of the first blushes that I go for when I'm applying bl uh, blush. And um, now I'm just taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm placing that powder right underneath my contour just to kind of give it more of like that sharper look and it also kind of like sets the foundation that's sitting underneath the contour as well So I'm also just taking that um, translucent powder and putting it outside of my nose contour as well. It's just another extra thing that I like to do. And then while that powder is setting, I'm taking my LA Pro Conceal um, concealer again and just taking it and um, putting it underneath um, any shadow that's kind of just kind of lingering outside of my eyeliner. I kind of like to do that if I want more of like a defined look with my eyeshadow. Um, so I'm doing that on both sides of my eyes. Some people like to use tape. And usually I'll see 
like on YouTube, people use um, like the tape method and do that first before they do their eyeliner. Um, but I don't know, because I'm always just so used to putting down my foundation first, I don't bother using the tape, obviously, because it's going to mess up my foundation. So I just go back in with um, a concealer and just use this method instead. It's just easier for me. And um, now I'm just taking a highlighter brush from Morphe and going in with MAC Soft and Gentle. This is one of my favorite, like, subtle highlights for, like, every day. It's really, really pretty, and it's not too obnoxious. It's not too out there, but I mean, you really can't get obnoxious when it comes to highlighter. Like, it's just, you can never apply too much. But, um, this is just more of, like, a more subtle highlight, so... Um, I'm just applying that right on my cheekbones. I like to take it up on my forehead, like up on like my temples a little bit. Um, and I'm just wiping away that translucent powder on my nose just so I can apply the highlighter on, um, on the tip of my nose. I always like to do that and take it down the bridge of my nose and then um, apply a little bit on my cupid's bow. And then just wherever else I like to place it. And then I'm just sweeping away the translucent powder that I placed underneath my contour before. And as you can see, it kind of gives it more of a sharper defined look. And um, I've also been doing this a lot where I've been putting um, liner in my waterline. Um, and I always used to kind of question how people would keep the, um, the eyeliner in the waterline from kind of fading away. and. Um, so what I like to do is take a darker shadow and put it on the flat liner brush and put it on top of the liner so that the, um, the liner in the waterline kind of lasts a little bit longer throughout the day. And now I'm just applying some mascara. This is one by Estee Lauder. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, so I just kind of sped that up a little bit because everyone kind of applies mascara the same way. And now for my lips, I'm taking a lip pencil by Sephora. This is in the shade number three, Classic Red. And I'm just outlining the shape of my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Jouer, I believe it's pronounced. Um, Supreme Lip Cream in Phrase Bon Bon. I really, really like this lipstick that I'm about to apply. It's just like a nice, bright red. It's not really like a, um, like a brick red or like a, um, like a classic red. I mean, even though I did say classic, I mean, I guess it is a classic red, but it's just like a brighter red, and I really like that. I, re I like really bright reds that really stand out and pop. So I'm now just spraying my face with some Fix Plus to set my entire face, and that is pretty much the um, the gist of it, and that's pretty much it. So um, I hope you guys liked it, I hope that, you know, it's something that you would consider wearing every day, and um, stay tuned for more looks. Let me know if there's any that you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!